What's up guys, I'm here with the rest of the Valorant team. Before we head out to Berlin, we're gonna answer some of your questions. Okay, so this question is from Alexandra, Alexandra Bakos. Do you turn down Shaz's voice during matches or do you just listen to him scream? Can y'all have me turn down? I don't think you scream in matches. Uh, like, Wait, what? Not, like, not, like, Dude, this guy's destroying my I ears. I mean, yeah, at the end of the round. But... Yeah, that's what they're talking about. Yeah, I don't yeah. turn him down. I, I mean, I just have him muted. I have him muted too. It's like I'm watching so. a stream. <laughs> from Twisted, in regards to agent picks for maps, comfort picks or the meta? This is something like we kind of thought about too, is like we stuck to comfort picks, but then we realized we kind of have to follow the meta a little bit too. So it's about finding a healthy balance, but then if people aren't comfortable on an agent, like you're just not going to find the performance out of them. So find the balance. It's like case by case. If you're comfortable to the utility, then you're going to get more kills. And that's obviously important. You know, you got to you know, shoot them. I agree. Yeah, at the end of the day. I got to kill them. That's why I play Jet, right? From Star Warfare 174, what were the lowest points in your FPS career? I don't know who wants to take that one. That's all you, brother. Me? I'm only up. It might not be a low point, but I think when I was playing CSGO, I had a period where we won the Premier League, which, like, supposed to promote you to uh, Pro League, but they changed the rules for the season I played, and we had to play relegation matches, and we lost. It turned out to be fine, because I have to do my team anyway, but yeah, that sucked. <laughs> I only have to say mine. Pretty sure all of Reddit already knows, so. <laughs> this one's from CED said, coming into champions, does the team focus on fixing the flaws and innovate your previous strats, or are you going, are you gonna go crazy and surprise everyone with something completely new? Yeah, we're still figuring that yeah. out ourselves. <laughs> well, like, you know, I can't give too much away, you know, like in case like Furia or Liquid's watching yeah, or something It's gonna be weird. some crazy stuff. But we're, we're gonna, hey, we cooking up in the kitchen yeah. every day. We have here. people playing some interesting agents. Arush asks, after losing to G2 and Envy in Massive Berlin, many people have been considering Sentinels as dethroned. <laughs> what do you want to say to them, and what we see the Sentinels in Champions Berlin that we saw on Masters regularly. Hold on, we did not lose to G2. We actually beat G2, <laughs> and, and they run. got a rematch that was a seeding match that they shouldn't have had. So it just fits their narrative, everyone's narrative, that we lost. Like, they come, everyone has short-term memory loss. Like, we didn't beat G2 in the important game. <laughs> Busy Bison uh, asked, what are your thoughts on younger people going pro, and what is the process that someone should go through? I mean, that's, like, the natural course of, like, sports in general. You got younger people grinding and coming up and taking the spot of, like, boomers like me no i'm kidding but the process you should go through is like you gotta grind like i think valorant's unique where you can grind ranked and it's like a platform for you to like make a name for yourself because so many people play and stream and then like people know you like oh this guy's dominating the leaderboards people put a lot of weight to ranked in the leaderboards so i think that's a good way to put your name out there but eventually you got to join a team and like yeah. compete in these like weekly tournaments these cups and that's how like regardless of a name that's where like pro teams would have the confidence in like saying like okay this might be a good player to give a shot outside of just a pugging environment. Ivan Asley, Hasley asks, after losing in Berlin, what's the best decision in game and off game you think you could have done for the team as an IGL in Berlin? I feel like we could have practiced the comps we wanted to and like played more towards the meta earlier and like kind of forced the issue, even if like we were uncomfortable. And if we were gonna go to that point, then we should have just stuck to like what was comfortable for us instead of like forcing the issue without enough practice. It was one thing to like kick it in gear, but it was another to like not try to force the issue and make people like do things that we hadn't re rehearsed, if that makes sense. Uh, this question is from MJ k5 what do you think needs to happen with omen slash brim to be played as much as viper slash astra should astra and viper be nerfed or should omen and brim get better kits it's hard to say i feel like if you buff brim or omen any further they'll be like over tuned to a point like brim smokes last forever and he's he's gone on certain maps like bind but obviously he doesn't replace viper or astra anything to that degree so i would probably just say like nerfing those agents especially astra i think astra is really like OP. Yeah, like you can't do anything against it. It's just very. very Astra annoying. ruined the game, bro. <laughs> Astra actually ruined the game. It ruined the pacing of the game. You've got a character that can smoke and like control on defense and take space on offense yeah. from across the map. It's literally doing everything across the map. I think it's kind of ruined Valorant right now in this meta. Like they need to tune that. Server GV asks. How can you be so consistent with how you play? Oh, so this question is directed to me? Yeah, yeah. I don't know, it's just natural, like, I'm just born that way, just making plays, clutching out. The genes difference versus the nation. It's in the DNA, in the blood. Valorant feels like decision making. Yeah. Like in CS, I feel like I could just ego challenge people that I felt like were worse and won the duel. But in Valorant, like, even the worst player can just 
want to duel versus you and you're like forced to like have an advantage in a fight or like make a smart play but the mechanic wise like you can't just constantly go challenge up like noobs will get it like get away with it it's like easier for them to get kills so it's true, you bro. Look you looked at me <laughs> first. You looked at me first, what? bro. I was just looking at where else I thought you were going to say look? something. I don't know. Uh, this guy looked at me. I was like, what? And then he's like, why'd you look at me, bro? Like, my bad. If you could summarize play styles of every player in, in your team with one word, what would they be? It's almost godlike. Dating. Yeah. Not godlike. I'm like, demon. Yeah. Dappers are uh, Tyson. Crack. I don't know. What do you say? <laughs> Aggressive. Trolling. No. Shaz the brain. <laughs> Hunter, the anchor. That's for me. I mean, yeah, Zombs would be uh, the rock. Like no, Zombs is Hunter's the flex. The Swiss right? Army knife. The Swiss <laughs> Army oh, yeah. knife. Oh, yeah. says one word, actually. Oh. Okay, well, the, the knife. knife. <laughs> the knife or knife? Hisoka says, is there a difference in synergy when y'all play at boot, boot camp slash LAN and when y'all play at home? Uh, I'm not sure. I, feel I don't like, think so. Yeah, I feel like, if anything, we're more comfortable at home. Just because we get really annoyed with setups, like we we were very we're very spoiled. We're like, oh, this desk is wrong. It's too hot. Yeah, I'd say we're our synergy and stuff's better at home just because we're a lot comfortable. This one is from Henrik uh, Linder. Do you have a your own ritual thingy that you do for yourself before the matches? I don't personally, but I know Mike watches like an AMV or something before matches. I'll see, and he's just watching it like on his phone or something. Yeah, so. yeah. I put on my Bose headset and I watch AMVs until I don't feel like it anymore. I don't have any like rituals, but I normally like prepare. Like I'll have some G fuel, or I'll, I like to wash my hands out for the game, like with cold water, just to, like I don't know. Like, I, I wash my hands with warm water. Yeah, I don't know. I'm the opposite. I like feel my hands feel sticky all the time, so I'm like washing them. Like, I right. actually brought a tape measure because now I can like properly measure. So I have the measurements down for how tall my desk is and how tall my chair is, and then I use my phone. There's like an app where you can like measure the angle. And I make sure my monitor is always 18 degrees. I forgot about that. I didn't think of that as a ritual. That's just settings. By Persia, who does the best Shaz laugh impersonation? Impression. Uh, I definitely don't. Uh, I don't know if we are. I think Zom could pull it off. You can't fake greatness. I don't know how to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> that was actually... <laughs> That's my laugh. Hoverfun says, Do you think that agent compositions will continue to have one of each character type, duelist, initiator, etc., or, or will one start to lose its place in favor of having another extra smoke or sentinel or something else? Yeah, it depends. It's not like the category. It's like what the utility they have and like what maps require like that utility, I guess. I feel like maybe there could be like duelist replace. Just because like initiators are sometimes better duelists, aka Sky. So this question is from Sloopy G Fuel. How do you feel going up against your former team in C9 Blue and Champions? They're not in a group, right? They're, oh, they're in Champions? <laughs> yeah, they made it through <laughs> LCQ. I don't even know how they They barely made it through LCQ and everyone's all like, C9, C9. The only person oh. that I played with on the original C9 roster was Mitch, and then I played with Lee for like a month or something like that, so. It's literally like a brand new team. Like they're they're functioning way different. From Roshan XD, how do you keep a positive mindset when things aren't going your way and not get tilted at each other? We don't. This team's a bunch <laughs> of tilters. <laughs> yeah, I think it comes with experience. Like the more that you lose, not even with just your teammates, but in general, it's like the more calm about it. You're not gonna get so mad every time you like make mistakes as a team. You just learn from it together. Yeah. I feel like getting mad is a waste of energy. Just don't get mad. Nah, get mad mean, we get mad, it. but it's you go like, next. It's not like that bad. Uh, yeah. so everyone gets somewhat tilted sometimes, it's fine. James Maldonado asked, if esports didn't work out for you guys, what's your plan B? If you didn't have a plan B, why not? I was going to college. I had two semesters left for my comp sci degree, so I guess I would have just finished that. If it didn't work out, just went back. Uh, I don't need a plan B because I'm always winning, so. No plan B, you went pro in high school. <laughs> Same thing for one of them, too. You went pro uh, yeah, in high school. Yeah, in high school I was 18, then I moved out. Okay. So. I graduated. In the I don't program. have no plan B. Yeah. Make it or die. <laughs> I don't. I don't think my grades were good enough for plan B. Yeah, we're dumbasses on this team. <laughs> have my degree. Found way to win, you should have said you were gonna. Don't group me up. <laughs> Thanks for submitting your questions, and we'll see you guys in Berlin.